Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we will be doing a border for our double crochet v-stitch blanket. Now um, we actually crocheted a double crochet v-stitch blanket quite a few months back I couldn't even tell you exactly when and I had to give the actual blanket away to uh, the lady and her baby so I didn't get the opportunity to show you guys how to do a border for it so that is what today's tutorial is all about now the crochet hook you will need will be the crochet hook used that you used for your yarn I'm using the size 5 hook because I'm using ice yarns by um, from Turkey and it calls for the five millimeter hook and that is what I use you will need your scissors yes you will and yes I hate to have to admit it you will need that darning weaving sewing needle so I'm not going to talk too much we're just going to get started because it's rather a long tutorial okay so I don't know if it'll be a part one and two but we're going to start with the first bit I think it will be part one and two so part one, <laughs> by the looks of it, is where we're going to start right here at that corner end. So we're not actually going to start in the very last corner stitch. We're going to go back uh, one, two, three, and we're going to actually go into that fourth chain. Okay, and you will need whatever color you would like to use. I'm using a contrast color for um, every second row or maybe every third row. I haven't decided yet because it does look better better okay so pop a loop around your hook oh let's get a nice close-up there for you pop a loop around your hook pull the loop through pop the loose yarn towards you in the front chain one and then we are going to single crochet in that very same stitch that we started with I might bring the blanket down a little bit so that it doesn't that's better you can only see what you need to see that's better okay so now we are going to bring that loop back because we can weave that in at the end and you can chain one skip one stitch and jump into that second stitch chain one and then jump into that corner stitch with a single crochet chain one and two and then pop another single crochet in the corner stitch chain one and then jump into that next stitch right there like that space not so much a stitch is it chain one jump into the very next space chain one jump into the next space chain one jump into the next space and so on and so on and so on chain one next space and we're going to stop for a moment I can show you what you're doing okay there you go all right so all I want you to do is chain one into the next space chain one next space chain one next space okay and so on and so on and so on until you get to that corner there and I shall meet you up all right so I've gotten to the end of the row here chain one second last space chain one an actual fact I think it jumps straight into that corner stitch right there it's a little bit funny because we've got the uh, loose thread there okay chain one and two only doing chain two in the corners okay and then we'll do another single crochet in there now this part is going to be a little bit easier chain one now this row should be a lot easier because you can actually see your V's so we've got to the corner we've chained one we're skipping that first stitch and we're going directly into the very next stitch let's have a quick look if I've done that right yes chain one skip the stitch go into the next stitch okay chain one skip that stitch go into the next stitch now this is the bottom of my blanket so it's a little bit hard to see 
the complete V. So if you want to, if you're doing the bottom of your blanket, turn your blanket facing you and you can see those V's. There's your first V and there's your next one right there. I'll get a nice close up for you so you can see. So you're chaining one, it might be a little bit too close, but I just want you to see that V. There's your first V and there is your second V. It's a bit hard to see in this orange, isn't it? Okay, bring it back out again. Chain one, skip a stitch and into your next stitch. Making sure you're picking up the two, the two of them there. So chain one, skip that first one. See those two threads? And the one I show you happens to be really tight, doesn't it? <laughs> there you go. Okay. Chain one, skip one, and go into the second one. And if you're not sure whether you're doing it right, see those V's right there. That's where you want to put your V's, okay? Let's see if I can get a bit of close-up of it. See the upside-down V? You want to pop the V in exactly the same spot, which I'm hoping we've done it right. Right there. So your V will be there, your V will be there, and your V will be there. Okay? So continue in that row all the way across to this corner, the next corner, right there and I will meet you up. So here we are at the end of the row, or well, almost. <laughs> Chain one, we're gonna pop a, a single crochet in that second last space at the end. It's actually a last space, really. We're gonna chain one because our single, our row of single crochet there is classified as another space. So we're popping into the very top of that row and that's gonna be your corner, okay? Chain one and two and put another single crochet in that corner. Now, we're going to chain one. So you can actually put a double crochet in that very first stitch that you come to. It's the only way we're going to be able to straighten up that edge. Chain one, skip one and pop it in your next stitch. And then you continue with your pattern. Chain one. Skip one, pop it into the next, and I'll show you in a minute. We'll do a couple. Skip one, pop it in the next. Chain one, skip one, pop it in the next. Skip one, pop it in the next. And I'll show you what I mean now. All right. So where our chain spaces are, right there, we need to put our next row will be a double crochet V stitch right in that chain space right above that double crochet v stitch i hope it makes sense <laughs> but in the meantime if it doesn't and it doesn't line up later don't panic too much chain one skip one single crochet in the next and so on and so forth and yes okay chain one skip one whoops skip one and go into the next We'll just make sure they're right above each other. And yes, they are. All right, so continue in that manner all the way across until you get to the end of the row. And I shall meet you up. All right, so here we are at the end of the row. Okay. Um, actually, we've got a couple more to go, I think. Yep, we're chaining one. We skip one and we go into there. Chain one. Now this one's a little bit tricky. This is our the very start of our double crochet V-stitch where we put two or three stitches in one. So all I want you to do is jump straight into a corner. If you can find the corner, we've got the knot right there. But there, I think that's the corner, okay? It certainly is. Chain one and two. And do the single crochet in there as well. Now, before you continue, because this is an even blanket, oh, let me bring that out a bit, because this is an even blanket all the way around, each side that you do now, like that next side you do there and the one you do on the bottom, is exactly the same to its corresponding side. So when you come here and turn, all you're doing is repeating the opposite side, you're repeating it on this side. All right, so remember what we did to that opposite side. 
Oh, dear me, I've just knotted myself there. Can you believe it? <laughs> That's what happens when you don't weave in your ends before you start. <laughs> so we chain one. Let's blow it up a little so you can see. Chain one. We're going to skip that space and jump straight into the next space with a single crochet. Chain one, jump into your next space. Chain one, jump into your next space. So that's all this side here is doing. You don't need to measure anything. You don't need to see what the bottom row is doing. Nothing, because this is only a side row. It's on the side of the double crochet V-stitches. So I want you to do that all the way across. And when you get to that corner right there, we shall meet and we'll see what we do with our last side. Okay, so here we are at the end of the row. We've chained one. Oh, a bit too far away. Sorry, guys. We've chained one. We're going to pop into that very next stitch. Chain one. Okay. Now, there's the end of the row where our stitches are. These ones are a little bit easier to see because it's the very last row that we did. So it's a bit of a bonus. We're going to pop into the top of that first stitch. We're going to do a single crochet. Chain one and two because it's the corner and a single crochet in the same space. So this will be easier to see our double crochet V-stitch too because that's exactly where we usually do it. So we chain one, we skip that first stitch and then we jump into the very next one. Chain one, skip the next and jump into the next. It's too easy, isn't it? Skip the next and jump into the next. And before we go on, let's see if they marry up. And they do. Your next double crochet V-stitch, your next row, will be right in that space right there. So it'll be right above that double crochet V-stitch. You'll understand when we do that next row. Okay? But in the meantime, what I want you to do is do your chain one um, and then single crochet in the next stitch. Skip one, single crochet in the next. All the way across till you get to there and I will meet you up. All right. So here we are at the end of the row. You should have three stitches left. Now don't stress too much if you don't. You can just skip it over. It's no big deal. It's not going to make a big difference. One stitch isn't going to make a big difference, but that is okay. So we're chaining one. We're skipping that stitch. We're going into the second stitch. Chaining one, skipping that, and then just slip stitching. Whoops. Put it through the right stitch, Mary. <laughs> slip stitching into that very first stitch that we did and you're done for this row pull up a loop and cut your thread whoops I should have got you to check it before you cut your thread you should be right if you've done the right thing if it all added up in the end um, then you should be right okay so there we are with our base row just to get us started for our double crochet v-stitch row okay so now, it depends on what colour you want to use. Yours truly will be using the green for the next row. And I'm going to start from a different area because, as you know, I don't like to start where there is an end. So there's an end on that one, there's an end on that one, and there's no end on this corner here. So we're going to start here. We will start from one of the spaces before the corner. So any one of these spaces, it doesn't matter where, okay i'll just start from the very space before and what you do those chain spaces that we were making just pop your hook in that so pop that loop through there we pop that loose strand over the front towards us chain one two and three that's going to be classified as your first double crochet in this um round then we're going to put a double crochet stitch in the same space pop that thread back now and all you're doing is jumping into the next space putting two double crochet stitches in there they will be classified as your v-stitch now there's your corner remember with your two chains you're going to jump in there and put one double crochet two double crochets you're in the space by the way three double crochets in your corner okay then you just jump into the next space and put 
a double crochet v-stitch which is one and two double crochets all right so that's what you have done so far cool now this part real easy we are now on this side all you are doing is putting a v-stitch that's two double crochets in each chain space that you come to here's one there's two I want you to do that in every space you come to two double crochets two double crochets until you get to the end of the row just before it and I shall meet you up okay so here we are at the end of this row now if you're anything like me which I did before and I hadn't noticed it there's a little space right there just before here I'm gonna skip it okay I'm just gonna jump straight into the corner okay it won't be that noticeable doing my three double crochets okay don't stress too much oops I've just split the arm there yeah don't stress too much about it if you didn't do that extra one there then don't worry about it but I did so that doesn't matter as long as and I'll show you now while we're here because you can see it as long as see your double crochet v stitch as they marry up the top get a nice close up there okay beautiful huh now if you're on the side if you started from the side you don't have to worry too much about that so um, your double crochet v stitches just need to be in the chain spaces okay but if you're on this side here your double crochet v stitches need to be right opposite it if you are on the bottom edge i'll show you again on the bottom one you might be here your double crochet v stitches need to be in that chain space right there we're going to get over there later and i'll show you that as well in the meantime this row is going to be very simple we've done our three double crochets in there because we don't need to marry it up with anything all we need to do is pop our double crochet V stitch into every chain space that you come to so this side is extremely easy you don't even have to think about it you just have to make sure they're in the chain spaces and that's all too easy yes I know right I tried to make the border to this blanket as easy as possible for you um, especially for my newcomers okay let's just stop for a minute and I'll show you where we're at and then you continue you can continue your row okay see that there's your v-stitch you go over here do your v-stitch there and again it doesn't matter because it's on the side of the v-stitches so go ahead and do that row there all the way across until you get to the corner and I shall meet you up all right guys we are at the end of this row very very long row I'll show you in a moment but we are going to finish off this row first and I've lost my ball of yarn and any money it's on the floor oh gosh what do you do what do you do <laughs> so we are going to put our v-stitch in that very last space before the corner so there's one double crochet oh, give me one second I'll see if I can find this ball of yarn here we go I haven't lost it. it's all tied up into my blanket oh dear me okay so there's one double crochet there is your second double crochet and now we are at the corner you are going to put three double crochets in that corner like we did with our previous corner one two and three gotta excuse my hands today guys i've been crocheting far too much so what you have done for this part of the tutorial is you have started there and we have done our v-stitch two v-stitches until we got to the corner and then you did three double crochets and then you did your v-stitches all along this side which is the shorter side of the blanket for me not sure what part of the blanket it is for you then you got into that second corner and you did your three double crochets and now we did all of this side here which for me is the longer side of the blanket all right so now what you're going to do and this is the best bit guys let me lay this out for you you are going to repeat that and the other side on these next two sides of your blanket pretty cool huh and what we're going to do is we are going to meet up 
right at the very beginning, right there. Okay, so I want you to keep going, doing exactly what you did for these two rows. Just repeat those two rows again until you get to the space before where you first started and I'll meet you up. All right, so here we are at the end of the row. And let me get a nice little close up for you all. And what I would like for you to do is put your double crochet V stitch in the space just before your first two that you made. So there's one there. If you haven't already done so, do that. One and two. So that's our very last double crochet V stitch you have there. Now, this part is simple. You've done this before in many other tutorials. Popping your hook in the top of your third chain right there. And it's a bit hard to see this green, I know guys, sorry. And there you go. A bit tight my stitching, always has been. So you pull a loop through that. You grab your trusty scissors, give it a cut. And what you have initially done here in this part of the tutorial is, let me bring that out again, you have done two rows in this part of the tutorial. The one row was the um, single crochet and chain stitches and the second row was this double crochet V stitch all the way around. Guys, I shall meet you up in part two. Just don't forget to click like and share if you like this tutorial and also if you haven't yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, click the subscribe button and the little bell button on the side so that you can receive further tutorials in your inbox. We will be doing a part two to this border. Now, just out of um, something to say before we go, um, yours truly was playing yarn chicken with her yarn and lost towards the very end of the row right there. From there to there is where I ran out of yarn. How do you like that, huh? Anyway, never mind. Thanks so much for watching and guess what, guys? Ciao for now.